Hey everyone, so in the past few months I've been playing Rocket League a lot more than I used to and in this time I had noticed my mechanics were improving, my positioning on the field and also my power shots were a lot better. As a bit of a background, I started back in 2017 with no indication of improving. I just played the game for fun and ended up placing in that gold rank that so many people are trying to get out of. Now, in 2020 I came back to Rocket League to see if I could improve and to progress to that platinum rank I wanted to be a while back. I have broke this video down into three steps that helped me to improve to hit that rank in the space of a couple of months. So I will be explaining how in my experience, how I transitioned from gold to platinum. But before I get into this video, it's that time again to thank you guys. Over the past month, the support has been amazing and I wouldn't be creating content without you all watching. Therefore, if you're watching this video and like what I do, don't forget to click that subscribe button. So let's get back straight into this video. One of the first tips that helped me to progress from platinum to gold is a pretty simple one. Training. Now, a lot of people suggest going into free play to try and improve your car control and they are 100% right. Free play is an amazing place to start practicing by working on your car control, boost management and many other things. There is also the option to dive into custom training packs and also workshop maps which are both super useful to learn car control, aerials and most importantly boost management. The rings map when using workshop maps is such a great way to learn how to air roll your car and how to manage your boost. Now, since Rocket League has transitioned to Epic Games, you can use workshop maps but it is a bit of a pain. I do have a video describing how to integrate workshop maps into the Epic Games launcher and I've put this video in the description. One difference that's helped me in training was to try and work on balancing the ball on your car and go from one side of the pitch to the other. Keeping your ball on top of the car is still one of the things that I'm currently learning, but trying to use this in games is like one of the best things to do, like using it for faking an opponent or just trying to score a goal. There are plenty of tutorials on how to do this, so I won't go into much detail, but all you'll need to do to start off with is pop the ball on top of your car, preferably at the front, and just go from one end of the pitch to the other. The next step from here is to try and go around the outside of the pitch, and then working yourself into the middle. Keep doing this until you have a firm understanding of how the ball control works and like I said I am still working on this but this has really helped me in many games. The second tip I would recommend is to play ones. Ones is an amazing way to learn and to showcase how you can improve. I used to be afraid of playing this game mode as I used to get annoyed when I lost which was most of the time but from checking my previous season I used to be a silver player in this game mode but in the past month, something has clicked in my head where my mechanics are slowly improving and I am getting better at the game in general. Now, I am not a high platinum player as there is still a lot of room for improvement, but over the past few months I have seen a great difference. The best way to get better at this game is to just take time to adjust in situations where you are on your own, and ones is a brilliant way to do this. I used to play drop shot all the time, and even though I am diamond in this game mode, this still affected how I played individually. I do not spend hours training before I go into games, I only spend around 10 to 15 minutes, therefore my individual game isn't as strong as I want it to be. So make sure to train and go into that duels game, it doesn't even have to be competitive to start out, but I just dived into this as I thought this is one of the greatest ways to improve. So my final tip for everyone to transition to that platinum rank is just to have the basics down. What I mean by this is to adjust your camera settings if you haven't already, just to outline how you play. Also to learn to rotate when you're in duo or trio games, but most importantly is to not burn yourself out. Burning yourself out on Rocket League may have been experienced by a number of players where too much training can affect how you play. If you train for around 4-5 to five hours a day this can be really exhausting, as I don't even train for longer than 15 minutes a day. I should train longer, but sometimes I feel myself getting tired and frustrated if I play the game too much, so most importantly, have some fun. Rocket League takes hours and hours of practice to get those higher ranks, but that doesn't mean to grind so many hours at once a day. I have found out by playing long stints in the game affects how I play, so yeah, just take that little time to yourself just to not basically burn yourself out. You will drop ranks and you'll become more frustrated, so just take time to chill out. And that is it guys, I hope this video has helped you, and if you want to see more content similar to this one, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Anyways guys, thank you for watching and catch you in the next one. Peace out.